uh, logo somewhere, but and this time we have a customer job. This laptop came from a computer shop. This is a nice Lenovo Legion i5 GTS graphics, a very decent gaming laptop. Yeah. The problem with this one, what the customer is saying, looks like the backlight fuse is gone. Okay, as the screen is very dark. You can uh, hardly see the Legion uh, logo on the boot. On the external monitor, the display is okay. So uh, the customer, uh, which is a computer shop, they are telling us uh, can be a fuse issue. Yeah. So powering on, and probably you can see the logo. Uh, look, you can see the logo. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, here. So we don't have backlight. Now, when you don't have backlight, you can go only on two places: on the screen or on the motherboard. Okay, so the laptop is open. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice uh, motherboard. We've seen this motherboard on different repairs. Now the screen cable. You see any screen cable here? Uh, I suppose is this ribbon cable here, right? Yeah, it must be this one. Yeah, let me take the heatsink out. So we took out the heatsink, and indeed this is the screen cable. Uh, let's have a look under the microscope. What's going on there? We should have the battery voltage on the um, on the backlight circuit. Yeah. Okay, so where the backlight can possible be? Here. And uh, when you're looking for uh, power tracks, you should look for uh, more than one pin connected together. So how's, as you can see here, we have here two pins together, two pins together. Here we have another two pins together, but always the backlight is on one side, like here. Because it's high voltage and we have zero volts. Okay. Here probably we will have, we have like probably like three volts when the laptop is on. But here should be the battery voltage and we don't have it. The problem is I cannot see any fuse on this side of the board. You see the truck is going on the other side of the board. So I believe we have to take out the motherboard. Do you think the voltage is coming on when the laptop actually is on? You'll be surprised, usually not. But I did see a um, few models where actually the backlight voltage is coming when the laptop is on. So I will check just to be sure. Yeah, so I'll power on the laptop. Power on. The fan is spinning? No, we don't have. Okay, so it's no voltage. Now, let me take out the motherboard and uh, have a look on the other side of the board. So we took the motherboard out. Wow, that's a nice motherboard. So the backlight fuse, so here is the connector. The backlight fuse must be here somewhere, yeah? So let's go under the microscope and have a look. Hmm? So which one is the backlight fuse? For me, this looks like a backlight fuse. This one. And this bun. You can see. I mean, this is a, this is a power rail. Clearly, it's a main power rail. Check here. Check where it's going. You see, you have some um, inductors here. Yeah, so this is the main power rail. Here is the fuse, and those three trucks are going on the other side of the board to the connector. Here the manufacturer cut some corners, and they didn't fit this big cap here. Probably here is ground. Yeah, it's ground. <laughs> Dodgy manufacturer. And here we have a fuse, yeah? Okay, let's, uh, let's redo the fuse. Rosin. Perfect. Now, why does full fuse blow up? It's hard to say and hard to know if the fault is actually not present. 
I mean, it can happen, like, let's say you open the lid, and on some point, the ribbon cable is getting shorted inside, yeah. And in that case, the fuse, it will blow up again. But at least we know. So we know, we, we will know if this wasn't like, uh, uh, you know, an exceptional event. You know, let's make this fuse longer, yeah? Let's let's make it longer. Perfect. You know, it's funny when someone uh, is telling me, "Sorry, is the fuse? It's um, you know, just check the fuse." But you know, they know I don't have fuses here. You know. <laughs> You know what I mean? There are no fuses. Okay, let's clean. You know, I don't have fuses. I don't use fuses. A wire is a fuse. So this one, probably like one, two amps fuse. Yeah? Right? Should be like one, two amps. Should blow up. So we are fine. So we rebuild the fuse. I believe we can uh, we can put the motherboard back and uh, test if indeed it's working. Yeah, give me one second to put the motherboard back. Good. So how we can test if indeed it's working? Let's clean the thermal paste. We'll have to replace the thermal paste anyway. And uh, you can use a thermal pad in order to test it for like a few seconds, yeah? Good, so let's plug the battery. We plug the battery, now let's power on and see if we have any backlight. Power on. Yeah, this is warm. The chipset is warm. Just wait because we reset the bias, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still warm. Just wait. Wait. You are still waiting for the backlight, right? Yeah. We have backlight. We have picture. I can't believe. Yeah, you can see on the on the corner the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Now let's power off. So have in mind, you know, because it's 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 annoying just to put the to put the heat sink just to test and no, just you know, just a pad. Indeed, it's hot. It's just a pad, and you can test that. So we know it's working. Now it's a different uh, test we have to do. I seen shorts, yeah, shorts. Uh, the battery voltage about, okay, this is quite high, 70.6. But let's say you have battery voltage, 10, 11 volts. The fuse, it will not blow up. But as soon as you go high in voltage, you plug the charger, 19 volts, the fuse is blowing up. In the case, you have a capacitor which is, uh, is getting shorted after a certain voltage. So let me put it all back together and after that test with the charger. Yeah, we do have some nice thermal paste, you know, the the Croconau, the Thermal Grizzly, yeah. Okay, it's all back in place. Now let's test with the charger. We have the charging light there, you can see it. Now let's power on. And we have backlight. Is blowing up the fuse when we are moving the lead? No. It's working perfect. Now who knows why that happened? I don't know, it's hard to say why that fuse blow up. But it looks like it's fine. It looks like it's okay. Okay? 
So the job is well done. It's working fine. So I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop here. If you have a backlight problem now, you know how to solve it and what to check. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and see you on the next one. Bye.